Hello all, this is Halloween. If you love Halloween and costumes as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to create some pretty awesome costumes without breaking the bank. Perhaps even using some items that you may already have at home. I'm really excited about today's costume because it was another one that just kind of came to me. I got inspired by colors, to be honest with you. I never miss an opportunity to go to an estate sale nearby or um, if someone asks me, if someone has passed away and someone asks me if they, if I want to come over and, and see if I want anything, I'm always on top of that because you could find such great items, especially when someone's older because older people have the best stuff. So unfortunately, and God bless her, my, um, one of my friends, Pearl, her mother passed away. I know exactly what that feels like. It's a horrible thing. She asked me if I wanted to come over and see if, I would be interested in any of her mother's belongings. Of course, I was like, oh my God, yes, that'd be awesome. So I went over there and I got inspired by this shirt that I saw and I thought immediately, it was a black and white shirt. I thought, oh my God, pantomime, clown. But then I get home and then I'm like, yin and yang, comedy and tragedy. So I landed on comedy and tragedy, but the tragedy was, I was too big to fit in the shirt. However, I was still inspired to go ahead and do this costume, and I'm going to show you how to create an awesome comedy and tragedy costume. I will put it down in the description below where I found everything, all the pieces, so that you can create your own at home. This is the outfit. I'll let you know in the description box down below kind of where I found everything, how much it cost. It was very inexpensive because I already had the skirt. I'm going to use a gold skirt. I got a gold pair of gloves here that I got on eBay or something. I've got a black and white shirt here, half black, half white. I've got a half black, half white pantyhose here that I'm going to use. I've got a half black and half white wig that I already had and a little gold pillbox hat that I'm going to also wear. And these are the shoes, my black and white spats. I'm going to accessorize with a kind of like a Charlie Chaplin or a, a dance, more like a tap dance sort of cane that I already had. So a lot of this I already had. Um, I didn't pay much at all for this costume and you could have some of these items at home as well. That's what this channel is all about. We're gonna get started with our makeup. I feel like I've been away for a while because I pre-recorded to go on this vacation. If you didn't catch the vacation, I, um, some of my other episodes coming out, I we recently went, well, we just got back last weekend from Nashville. And it was a great trip and it would have been even better if I didn't have like a sore throat the whole time. So a week before we left for Nashville, I got this really intense sore throat. I didn't have a fever. There was no cough really. I mean, there a little bit of cough, but really nothing else, just a sore throat. It was like really, really, really bad. So I knew it wasn't like viral or anything and I just didn't know where it was coming from. So I, it was a fun trip. You can hear about that if you watch some of uh, my other episodes, my Nashville episodes. Anyway, getting started with this, I have glued my eyebrows down with the Elmer's glue because uh, we're going to be painting right over them. So I kind of like was thinking of a face like kind of like a black and white cookie. So white on one side, black on the other, and then obviously on the side that's black, the face is going to be drawn or the features will be drawn in white. On the side that's white, the features will be drawn in black. It's gonna be to it's gonna be crazy, like a half and half costume. And I had some other cool ideas for half and half costumes too that I'm probably gonna be featuring on the channel as well. For this look, I went ahead and bought myself a big Ben Nye and licorice black. Oops, it's upside down. So this is the $15 black. They have the big one in stock. So I went ahead and bought that. It's 28 grams, one ounce. Yes, licorice black and of course the Ben Nye in cloud white. I've just got some black pencil here. I'm a little out of sorts because I've been I've been gone. So I'm gonna use the black pencil for some, maybe the white grease pencil. We're just gonna see how we do as we go along. I may even be just using the, the aqua for everything and just kind of being careful with it, so we'll see. And then I'm going to be using this Graftobian metallic gold just to accent the features. So like, you know how there's the crease and the, you know, the under eye creases and, and things like that, I will be accenting with the gold for that. I don't really know what I'm doing yet. 
it's okay because I'm going to use a photo for reference. So I'm going to kind of go from this picture here just for my features. I like how dramatically different they are. So half of my face is going to be the smile and half is going to be the frown. Comedy and tragedy. It's going to be awesome. And what's even cooler about this costume is that I was looking it up. Costumes that were done before as comedy and tragedy and stuff like that. It would even be a cool couples costume, but I didn't see anything. So nobody really, I mean, at least on the internet, that's, that's posted it has done this, which is kind of cool because it's going to be original. So you're going to want to just make sure that you have your wig next to you so you can see which side is supposed to be which. Because <laughs> you don't want to accidentally do the wrong side. See, one side of this is going to be white and the other side is going to be black. Obviously, the white side is comedy, the black side is tragedy. Another thing I want to do here just to get a straight line is I'm going to put a piece of tape down my face because my straight lines can't do it. Uh, if you know me by now, you should already know this. My straight lines are really bad to create a nice, it'll look crazy for a minute. And now I'm not going to do my neck at all. I'm just going to do my face like a black and white cookie. And no, I've never done this costume before. Obviously I said, cause I just had this idea, but I say it'll look cool. I can't even put the tape in a straight line. This is like, my wig is right there. I can see it. So my left side is going to be comedy. We are doing the tragic side now. I dampened my sponge. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, shame on you. Just kidding. <laughs> the Ben Nye Aqua is activated by water. So you don't want a very wet sponge, just damp. And then you're gonna dip it in. I think I'm gonna do the line part first. At the bottom, I'm just kind of rubbing so I can do a good line down there. Okay, let's see how we did. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty good. <laughs> I look like one of those, um, the crazy fans, the football fans that like do the black and, you know, they do the colors of the teams, <laughs> but it worked out really well. Awesome. Yay. How's that for a straight line? I'm just doing my ear a little bit. It's not going to show, but I had already kind of started, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. Now we're doing the white, obviously. We're just gonna be careful with our middle line there that we're not going over. I think I can handle that. That worked out really well. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. It's a little bit like not exactly at the halfway mark, but that's okay. I don't think it's gonna really matter. Now we're doing the white, obviously. We're just gonna be careful with our middle line there that we're not going over. I think I can handle that. I don't care if I get it a little in my hair. As you can see, I was on the fence about wearing contacts with this one because I do have my black sclera lenses and then my whiteout lenses. You could do that if you want to, um, if you have lenses or if you want to go that extra mile. But this one, I just, I think too, because it, one was a sclera lens and one was just a whiteout lens, they wouldn't have really matched. So I just, I'm not going to do it. If you have a regular black lens and a regular white lens, that would look cool. If you need to get a finer point, and this isn't going to matter. You see how I went a little bit over? Um, because I've got my smile or my frown on that side that's probably gonna cover that up. Whatever I kind of go over, I can always touch up too. I'm not super worried about it. Just touch it up a little bit. That's just gonna happen. At least I've got a straight guideline. All right. I just bought this Ben Nye pencil just because I wanted a good makeup pencil. So I'm gonna use this to touch up. So I'll make a confession. I just did the tragedy eyebrow on the wrong side. <laughs> For this one, you have to really be paying attention to what you're doing because it's so easy to get the wrong side. And then you're like, crap, I gotta redo that. Just like I just did. Yeah, I kinda had to redo everything, but we're good now, we're good. It's fixed. I'm telling you, coming off a of vacation, it's hard to get back into the swing of things. I went ahead and got my Ben Nye cream makeup to do my eyebrow and my, oh, by the way, the eyebrow that I did was perfect too. It was a tragedy eyebrow, but it was just on the wrong side. Dang it. Um, I thought the cream would work better. That's all the pencil is. It's basically a cream makeup in the form of a pencil. And it works well on top of the aqua. Aqua isn't going to work so well on top of aqua. So you want to have some kind of a cream makeup or a white pencil to do your features. So I'm going to go ahead and do what I just did on the other side. On this side. On the right side. And it's literally the right side. So I took one of these really cool 
my favorite Q-tip things, and that's what I'm kind of doing it with. I may, I may switch to a brush here, we'll see. Cause it's not really, black really wants to bleed through. That's all right, we'll get it. Oh, it's so tragic. Now on this side, we're gonna do the happy eyebrow. Go a little something up. I'm gonna use my own eyebrow for the bottom of that eyebrow and just kind of accent up. So I have kind of a high arch anyway. My brow's not glued down as good as it was before because I had to totally redo everything, but that's all right. We're gonna make it work. I'm just gonna um, go over my eyebrow, maybe with this grease pencil. Oh yeah, that works great. That works just fine. Yay. All right, great. So, happy, sad. Let's see what we got here. Sad is basically just gonna follow the line of the brow. I'm gonna end up having to use a lot of these cause they get kind of weird. <laughs> but I don't usually do this big a project with them. It's looking good. So. That's my sad eye. <laughs> I'm gonna do my happy eye, which is kind of like the opposite. It's more shaped like a like a rainbow. I'm gonna go around with this black pencil just to make more cute, uh, accurate lines here. Probably work. Clean up my lines a little bit. Oh yeah, it is working rather well. I like a clean line. So if you have a hairy line, it's kind of like not real pristine. You want it a little more pristine. With the white hair, you can just go around with your black pencil and make it a smoother line and it'll look awesome. I do suggest the final seal for this because you are gonna have so much cream. You're gonna wanna seal that makeup onto your face. So the Ben Nye Final Seal, also Mayron makes one called Barrier Spray. Whatever way you wanna go, you're gonna need some final seal or barrier spray. All right, now time to do our happy eye. I'm gonna try and make it like the same scale of the other eye here. Kind of one here, I'm gonna go up. It's kind of difficult to write on top of the, the Ben Nye Aqua. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of a dry, you know, powdered effect. There we go. You just gotta be a little slower with it. I may do a little um, aqua. It might be better at filling this in. Uh, yeah. All right, now I'll go back to this. So my pencil kept breaking, <laughs> and I think the Ben Nye just got tired. It's a really good pencil, but uh, going up against the aqua, I was just kind of tired. So there's the the happy eye. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. So there we go. That's that. Um, happy. It's gonna be here. You wanna make sure your stencil is pressed really good to your face. I gotta sharpen again. <laughs> uh, you know, it could be my pencil sharpener too. It's probably about time for a new one. You gotta replace those every now and then. Or they just tear up your pencils. Had to leave camera for a minute for a couple reasons. My dadgum camera was dying, so I had to charge it for a little bit. And while I was letting it charge, I went ahead and finished up the happy face. And then I'm going to now do the sad side. You can take the same piece and just flip it upside down. Or, you know, I just kind of, you know, I forget about those things, those little things. You're gonna laugh, this is so funny. So my wig is white on one side, right? It's, a, it's white on the left side and it's black on the right side. My dumb butt was looking all over for a pantyhose that had white on the left side and black on the right side. This is how out of it I've been because of my, that sore throat I had and everything. And this was before we were leaving. I was trying to get everything ordered before we left. So I'm like, you know how long it, I took like looking at probably for an hour. I, I can't find any that are white on the left side. Duh, get the pantyhose and just put the white on the other leg. <laughs> I mean, I was so out of it. So same thing with this, you know. Um, you really only need one side. You do one side, um, the happy face, and then you can just flip it over and do the sad. So that's what we're doing. You know, I'm sorry, but just getting back into the swing of things and it ain't easy. It ain't easy at all. So yeah, I went ahead and got dressed and there's a couple more things that I wanna do and then we'll be done. 
obviously I got to do my sad side of my face so let's go ahead and do that all right if you can what I would suggest and I think I already suggested this but go ahead and get a black cream or a fat black pencil either way but my small black pencil you know for for this much work it doesn't work very good I mean it's more for small stuff small details little things oh I just gotta do my frowny face okay I think I'm gonna finish it up without this I think I can do it so I'm gonna finish it up without the thing now that I know how it's supposed to go I think I can do it I mean it's easier if that's not in your way you know it probably would have been better too if I hadn't painted it black at all in that area, but it's okay. It'll still work fine. And don't forget, you can clean up any lines with your black pencil. So I'm all done with that part. Now what I wanted to do was take this Graftobian. Uh, it's a liquid set, uh, metallic gold. And you don't have to do this. This is optional. You can totally do like um, this kind of stuff with white on, on this side and with black on this side, but I just thought, since I have the gold kind of incorporated into my costume, that I was gonna do it with gold. So it comes with this uh, setting solution. Typically, if you're gonna do like your whole body or your whole face or your, a whole arm or, or something like that, you're gonna wanna mix the whole thing of powder with the liquid solution. But since I'm not doing like a big part of my body, I'm just kind of accenting with it. I'm just gonna dip my brush into the liquid and then into the gold. And I'm just gonna add some lines and stuff. So um, just kind of following the lines on my little picture here for accenting. Now I'm dressed, I'm all freaked out because there's all this stuff on the table and you know, I don't want to get it on my white shirt here. Like it is white, white. So yeah, that's looking cool. I gotta say it's even better than I expected it. That's always good. I knew that was gonna happen. I just spilled my liquid. <laughs> you know how you just know when something's gonna happen? Well, that happened. I had to stop and clean a little bit. It's like getting on my shirt and stuff. I would suggest getting I'm, I'm not really in love with this Graftobian product. I like the, the Mayron has really good um, metallics. Uh, the reason why I don't like it is because it's really sticky. It's like, if it gets on you, it's like glue. And I don't know if you put it all over your body, is it gonna be sticky like that? Like, I don't, I don't really know, but I'm just using it to accent. I went with a gold line, you know, all where, where marks would be when you smile. Everything you get Botox for, so. I don't know, I don't get Botox. Not yet anyway, I was considering, just for my forehead. Every time I do my makeup, my nose wants to run. It's just a thing. It's like, oh, you're doing makeup? Let me just start running. I thought the gold added a nice touch. It's kind of leaning my face over, so hopefully I don't get it on my shirt anymore. I got one more line I want to do here. All right, I think that should be good. Of course, I spilled this Graft Obian setting solution and got it everywhere so now my hands are sticky it's like glue all right i'm gonna get dressed see you in a minute all dressed and ready for the party let's go take some photos I totally forgot to do my outro <laughs> while I was still dressed. So this is what you guys get tonight. I just went for the shower and washed everything off and then I was like, oh my God. <laughs> anyway, I was like, whatever, I'll just put on a little makeup and you know, put my little motif on. For two weeks, I was gone, you know, and wasn't, I have to get back in my groove, so <laughs> forgive me. 
But anyway, um, I hope you love today's costume. I really loved it. These are the kind that I really, these and the really ugly ones are like my favorite to do because they kind of come to me just out of the blue and I'm like, wow, that's a really cool and different idea. Let me try that, you know? Um, I, I wasn't influenced by anybody else that's ever done it or I didn't see anybody ever do it. I just saw a couple of colors black and white and I got inspired so I, I think a lot of people sometimes they go and um, they're so perplexed as to what they want to be they don't see things and, and um, consider it or think of the possibilities with a garment I like to share those little sort of accidental inspirations with you anyways that does it for today's episode please remember to like subscribe and share and I'll see you next time